Hey guys, it's S. Welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've done a command block based video. But I saw one by a guy known as Z Element, who I used to know by a different name, but I'm not gonna tell because he doesn't like people calling him by his old in game name. Anyways, this is the alternative kill reward system or drop package system. Um essentially I came up with this when I saw his video which basically gave you a specific item when you got a certain amount of player kills or mob kills. This system, however, what it does is it gives you a random care package upon any player kill. As you can see, we have nine chests here. These are all the different care packages you can get. You can get the horse care package, you can get the enchanted care package, you can get the uh, levels care package, you can get the uh, enderpearl care package, you can get a golden block, you can get a prop 4 book, you can get a diamond, or you can get 8 diamonds, you can get a strength 2 potion, or you can get a golden apple straight away without having to get an apple. This is the whole contraption right here, as you can see, if I give myself an extra kill, I immediately get a care package. Let's see what I got. I got the horse care package, nice. And you can just break that for easy access. Or you can just open it and take the items out. So, let's just break into this and show you exactly how it works. If you're wondering why I sound a bit weird, if I do, uh, I haven't been up for very long, so yeah. Okay, so basically how this works if you dig underground, we've got our average set block, redstone block, destroy command. If you want to copy that, then you can just take a look at that there and just type that in but that's that whole clock then we have our clone command which I'll go into in a bit here we have the thing that tests for anyone with kills uh, just to get your kill command up you'll need to do scoreboard objective uh, add kills um, player kill count that is what you want to do then you need to type test for at a score underscore kills underscore min equals one it is cap sensitive and so that's how you're going to do that then we take the comparator output from that one this is all 1.8 friendly that's why I haven't used any of the 1.9 stuff and then you take the output from the comparator it goes into this dispenser which as you can see I can't actually open I'll get into that in a while I could actually infinitely break this dispenser but what happens is this dispenser will fire out an item into this command block which will teleport the item to a player that has a higher score of kills than one. So basically, the player that gets the kill will immediately get a care package. Then, it sets that player's kills to zero. It's so pretty simple. If you want to make this, then just copy the commands on screen. As you can see, I just managed to get a glimpse of that dropper. It had nine chests in it, which are actually these chests. I'll explain how I did that in a little while. And you can actually customize which drop packages you have. So that's pretty cool. So this clone command, you need to use this exact clone command. And well actually it depends. You're going to have to build this facing west. Like all the comparators and the previous and stuff will have to face west for any of these commands to actually work properly. What this does, it clones this dispenser right here onto this dispenser right here. Meaning that even if this dispenser fires out an item it will be instantly refilled, meaning that you're never going to run out, which is really helpful. And also it means you can just go here, change anything in here, and it will change what's in there. For instance, I can take out this chest. As you can see, if you look closely, the chest, the chest in the bottom right is missing. The back end, it's back again. So yeah, that's, and of course this works by just powering through that. And this doesn't get buttered or anything. But now, I'm going to tell you how the chests work. The way it works, um, from 1.8 and onwards, you can take any item, put it in a chest, and if you use control middle click on that chest, you'll get a chest that has a plus MBT tag, which means that it shows you exactly what items it has inside of it. This means that you can very easily put items into this chest, scroll click it, and place it down anywhere. In fact, Quit this chest inside this chest, do that, take this chest out, take that chest. 
essentially, you can put a chest inside of itself, which is the weirdest thing. And then you'll just, yeah, chest section much. So now I've got a lot of saddles and a lot of horse eggs. Let's get rid of all of those. So yeah, the way it works, you just get nine chests, and then you hold down control, and then you middle click the chest, and you get the chest. And then you go over, put it in the suspenser here, or you can just use straight items, but the chest give it like a bit more like intensity, or like what am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? If not me. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please leave a like. Go check out Z Diamond's video. I'll probably put it in the description. And also, like, if you want more command block stuff, like I used to, then tell me. Bye.